What is going on guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and we have a Steven Universe theory for you all. I know it's been quite a while. Today it is about Ronaldo. Please do not click away from the video. But before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Gemamino. If you don't know what Gemamino is, it's basically an awesome Steven Universe community app where you can share your fan art, fan theories, discuss the episodes and all types of stuff. And we actually just put a brand new quiz. They have a quiz feature and it's a super tough Steven Universe trivia quiz. Lots of hard hitting questions only for the hardcore fans, not for you dirty casuals out there. There. And I want to give a quick shout out to at Jen Camillo 3 and at Magnus G on Twitter. They gave us a couple of questions that we ended up using in the quiz, but some hard stuff. Go check it out. We challenge you to get the highest score you possibly can and share it with us on Twitter at Cartoon UV. And as an added bonus, Amina will be officially verifying the top three people with the highest scores. So get to it. Please don't cheat. That's pretty lame. Go follow us at Cartoon Universe on the Gem Amino app. Take that quiz test your knowledge. So let's talk about Ronaldo. We know Ronaldo has been a subject of controversy for quite a while. He's probably the least favorite, least liked character in Steven Universe to date, and Rock Ronaldo did not help that, especially with the misdirection of the Bloodstone gem that Cartoon Network released on their social media. So a lot of people are not Ronaldo's biggest fans. However, it is known that Ronaldo has called a lot of major events that ended up taking place in Steven Universe, and he sort of works as a red herring where you don't take him seriously but he ends up actually being pretty knowledgeable about things and I wanted to talk about not only the things he already called but what he actually called that I think will come into play later that has not yet come into play and a major thing he may have revealed in Rock Naldo by accident. So let's get started. So what has he already predicted that has come into fruition at this point? Well, he predicted for starters the Diamond Authority and hollowing out the Earth. So the Steven Universe fandom speculated for quite a while that there was a thing known as the Diamond Authority, which consisted of Yellow Diamond, White Diamond, Blue Diamond, and of course Pink Diamond, just judging by the symbols that are thrown out all throughout the show. And Ronaldo actually mentioned this in the episode Keep Beach City Weird, where he said the Diamond Authority is here to hollow out the Earth. And this ended up becoming true, obviously, We've now met Yellow Diamond and Blue Diamond. We know White Diamond's a thing, and we know Pink Diamond is a thing, and we know these diamonds are the leaders of the hierarchy of the gem race. And we now know that they did want to indeed hollow out the Earth once they colonized it. This would consist of them basically carving holes into the planet Earth so they can use it for growing soldiers and other types of gems and resources and stuff like that. That ended up being revealed in It Could Have Been Great. And he also called what we recently just found out was the zoo. And this was called all the way back in season two. And we just learned about the zoo in season four officially. We now know that Pink Diamond had a human zoo that she she ended up taking a lot of humans from Earth and putting them in this peaceful island paradise where they would live out the rest of their days blissfully unaware of the universe around them. And Ronaldo, of course, called this back in Rising Tides, Crashing Skies, where he was asking Steven if the giant green hand was there to take him to a human zoo. And this, of course, ended up being somewhat the case for Greg, where Blue Diamond's giant blue hand ended up taking Greg to the human zoo. So this ended up predicting a lot of things. And believe it or not, if you weren't aware of this, he actually ended up predicting Lapis's story arc on his blog Keep Beach City Weird on Tumblr.com. If you're not aware of this blog, basically it is a canon version of Ronaldo's Keep Beach City Weird blog that he always talks about, always mentions in Steven Universe. It's basically the driving force of his character and he actually described basically what is the story arc of Lapis for Steven way back on November 14th, 2013. This is way before Mirror Gem aired and this was really, really early stages of Steven Universe where there wasn't that much happening and it wasn't a super lore heavy show just yet as far as we knew, at least. I'm gonna read the Tumblr post about him talking to a fish. A fish called Weird. Welcome to Keep Beach City Weird, where I document all that is weird in Beach City. Unfortunately, the old BC has been pretty quiet this week. Oh, except for the fact that I talked to a fish. There's this fish aquarium store on the boardwalk with all sorts of fish and stuff in the window. And every day when I walk by, this one vet of fish totally looks at me, I swear. So today when the shopkeeper wasn't looking, I talked to the fish. I asked if she was watching me. And the fish bobbed up and down, yes, amazing. Then I asked if she was part of a botched government experiment to transplant human consciousness into marine life for underwater espionage. And she bobbed, yes. So this actually ended up calling a couple things, not only Lapis' story arc, but her backstory that wasn't revealed until Same Old World in Season 3. He basically meets a fish, similar to how Steven gets a mirror, and he is talking to the fish, and no one believes that he's talking to the fish, similar to how Steven is talking to the mirror, and he's not supposed to be able to talk to the mirror. And he asked the fish if there are human consciousness that was embedded into 
into a fish for espionage. And this is extremely similar to Lapis being embedded into the mirror for espionage, where the homeworld gems thought that Lapis was a crystal gem and may have intel on the crystal gems for the war. And of course, she wasn't able to do so. And then the post reads, I need to get that fish back to a human body. I'm going to have to break her free or buy her. Although I spent a lot of money on replica swords at Del Marvacon, so breaking her free might be my only option. So this was, of course, referencing Steven breaking Lapis free from the mirror and getting her body back. And he also mentions Del Mar Marvacon and buying swords, which ends up coming into play in Rock Naldo once again. Nice little callback to this blog. So what has he foreshadowed that hasn't come into play yet? Well, there's a couple of things, some of which are commonly theorized within the community and some of which I feel like people haven't mentioned a lot. So we're going to start with one of the less common ones, and that is another post on his Keep Beach City Weird blog about the Guitar Dad shirt that Steven made way, way back. And it says, Today I made contact with an with an alien's with an aliens come on come on guys typos come on with my face this t-shirt came flying down from space and hit me in the head it bears the image of an alien being known as guitar dad he appears to have the power to turn sonic energy into electricity and he looks totally ripped so i think this might actually come into play it's been wildly speculated that the citizens of beach city and the human characters of steven universe will end up joining the fight with the crystal gems to fight homeworld homeworld will probably invade earth at some point especially now that they have knowledge that there are more humans and they want them from the zoo there may actually be a big old brawl somewhere towards the end of the series and i think it would be very fitting for greg to join in this fight because he always seems to be getting the short end of the stick in these fights in ocean gem he ended up breaking his leg and busting his van and he recently got kidnapped by blue diamond so i think it'd be fitting for him to actually join the fight and i think what might happen here is bismuth may actually get unbubbled and somehow figure out a way to turn greg's guitar into a weapon which would be absolutely sick and totally fitting and perfect for greg or maybe peridot does some electrical wiring or bends the metal in a, some su supersonic type of way and changes the very form of the guitar so he can use some supersonic electricity powers from his guitar. That would be pretty awesome. Just a little tiny tidbit there. And this is a pretty common one and it is about Peridot freeing quote unquote animals from the zoo. And this post is about, about the time when Peridot was hacking through the TV systems, trying to contact Yellow Diamond, trying to contact Homeworld where she was stuck on Earth. She crashed the escape pod. She had no way to leave and she was aware of the cluster. So she was trying to get out of that piece as soon as humanly possible boy but the post reads is anyone seeing this i was just in the middle of watching mighty monster card traders shuffle quest and then there was a bunch of static and then this was on my tv judging by her greenish hue i'd say she must be part of an eco terrorist group most definitely a highly advanced android program to free animals from the zoos sounds like her mission has gone afoul but she could still be dangerous talking about freeing zoos he mentioned the zoo he predicted pink diamond zeus it's been speculated that we were going to go back to the zoo at some point because there are still humans there who don't know of the life on earth that they could be having there's a group of court soldiers that are allies to the crystal gems that are amethyst famethyst essentially we do believe that we will be going back to the zoo at some point why or how remains to be seen but i think it's likely that there will be some type of mission some type of heist another gem heist if you will where the crystal gems all of the crystal gems infiltrate the zoo and somehow peridot ends up freeing the humans from the zoo this could be alluding to that in the future also evidence for this because as steven was going through the process of being a zoo Zooified, if you will, there were actually Peridot fingers kind of analyzing his body and checking for his vitals and all that stuff, where it, which match her limb enhancer fingers. So I think this is another tie-in. So she may have been designed to do something similar or do something like that. Or at the very least, she has knowledge of the technology that is required to analyze the humans for the zoo. Then we have another one that I don't see a lot of people talking about, and this could actually allude to the healing of corrupted gems. It's a post about him finding rock people, and it says, A few months ago, I had the honor of doing a presentation at Beachapalooza in entitled Rock People, Identification and Defense. People need to know the truth. This is a little animated GIF I put together based on my diagrams. Just remember the simple rhyme to keep yourself safe. If you suspect they're a rock, just give them a spray. If their form dissolves, you'll know what to say. You're a rock person. So this could be alluding to a couple things. I think this might actually tie into Steven being able to heal corrupted gems because we know that his healing spit has almost done that with Centipedal and I feel like there will be some type of transformation or enhancement that he will get that will allow his healing saliva to fully heal corrupted gems some way, shape, or 
form or maybe there's some type of magical water that we don't know about that hasn't been discovered or maybe Rose's Fountain is tied in somehow this that could be a possibility it's also a possibility that Rose's Fountain or something else some other type of magical water body is tied into Lion and Lion has been speculated to be a gem of some sort in some way shape or form maybe shards of pink diamond so maybe if he gets sprayed with this magical water or Steven's healing spit which I don't think he's tried on Lion yet maybe his Lion's true form is revealed and of course there's the case of the Sneeple now if you're not aware of Sneeple Sneeple are basically snake people and Ronaldo believes snake people have some type of tie into the government and he may be correct we see that in Rising Tides Crashing Skies he tries to talk to Mayor Dewey and Mayor Dewey says cover up what cover up and he and his security guards basically kick Ronaldo out and he's left with absolutely no information and if we see on the dollar bill there is a snake and a diamond so a lot of people have theorized that the Sneeple the snake people if you will are actually the alien race that created the gems because it is theorized also that the gems are artificial life and they've also alluded to this in the show multiple times the gems themselves especially yellow diamond so it's possible that there are some type of snake people that uh, basically reside in the universe the steven universe and created the gems and are somewhat of an enemy of the gems and that is a, a theory as to why yellow diamond wants the cluster so bad i personally do not think this is the case i feel like sneeple may be a misdirection yellow diamond is very resentful towards earth because of what happened to Pink Diamond, so that could be the reason that she wants the cluster to emerge because she's just so pissed and angry and irrational about Earth that she just wants that planet, as she said, to die. I don't know if Sneeple are gonna come into play. I think it's more possible that these snake people quote unquote or some type of special corrupted gem that we have yet to see that will play a role in the near future or maybe there is some type of government conspiracy that the government is aware of the gem history given that the diamond is on the dollar bill and it seems as if there's gem stuff all over the place the alien invasion happened it had to have been covered on the news it had to have been in social media we know it was on Ronaldo's blog and the gems are just out in the open and they interact with humans all the time so it's very possible that the US government or the world government is aware of the gem's existence, is aware of the gem history, and tries to keep everything in check and balance. And maybe Sneeple, snake people, are a part of that, but I don't think that's really the case. I think it's more so just a parody of reptilians, which is a real thing. People believe. People believe that the world, the government's is controlled and the media is controlled by lizard, lizard men in suits, in human suits. Not making this up. This is a thing. This is a real thing people think is a thing. So just... Google that for for a fun time, but yeah, I don't think that I don't think that's gonna come into play. I think that's kind of a stretch. I think if anything, they're gonna be some type of corrupted gem that we're yet to see. And now we're moving on to Rock Naldo, everyone's favorite Steven Universe episode. That was not at all disappointing for anybody whatsoever. All right, so there was a couple things, one small one that was pretty big. So in the beginning, we actually mentioned this in one of our discussion videos, in the beginning of the episode, Steven reads a Renalflet, and he basically reads that he believes that there are mind-controlling minerals that are in the water supply, and, and this is by the work of rock people. So it's possible that this may tie into the zoo once again, because I see a lot of zoo tropes with Ronaldo predicting things. So this could be a factor that is keeping the humans in the human zoo from wanting to explore, because it is a basic human instinct to to want to explore, to want to expand your horizons, and I feel like this may be something that is helping sedate them with that is within the water, in the zoo, obviously besides the fact that they don't have jobs or bills or taxes and have not a care in the world, and it's always sunny and it's always warm and perfect temperature and everyone's having a good time. Besides all of that, there's bound to be some people who don't want that, so I feel like there might be some mind-controlling minerals in the water to keep them in check. Not a really important detail, but maybe it'll come into play later. And now we have a much bigger detail that some people have already mentioned and I think is very likely to come true. So when Ronaldo is picking out his gem Sona, when Steven asks him what gem he would be in the Crystal Gems, he says, I think it'd be like deep in my heart or like a million tiny crushed up gems, like one crushed up gem coursing through my blood. And now if we remember, Pink Diamond was shattered by Rose Quartz and there's also a thing in the temple that is called the Crystal Heart that is connected to the most dangerous areas of the temple. So what if Pink Diamond's shards are actually going through the little veins in the crystal heart and is within the crystal heart because if you look at the veins there does seem to be little tiny miniature pink diamonds so it's possible that this is alluding this was kind of a little hint towards the audience that pink diamond actually resides within the crystal heart that would be absolutely insane i'm not sure how that would tie in together i'm not sure what the crystal gems would do with that information that remains to be seen would they try to heal her put her back together who knows but that's actually pretty 
pretty insane that if this ends up being the case, Ronaldo called it completely by accident. He wasn't even theorizing this time. And we know Ronaldo is basically a plot device for certain foreshadowings. Now, we don't know if everything he says is going to come true. We don't know if he kind of has some misdirections where he just said stuff and we kind of have to pick as the audience which ones we think will come true and which we, ones we think are totally bogus. And that's what I think are, that's probably happening because I'm sure the Crewniverse is aware that the fans have picked up on Ronaldo's foreshadowing and his abilities to call things way in advance. But who knows? They seem pretty aware. But that pretty much covers it for this video. Is there any type of foreshadowing that we may have missed that may come in the future? Anything that he did foreshadow that we didn't even notice? Let us know in the comments down below. And again, make sure you check out Gem Gem Amino. Download it for iOS and Android. We'll leave the links to that in the description below. Follow us on Carson Universe and take that insane, intense quiz. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Michael Williams. You've been watching Cartoon Universe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.